Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. I nearly forgot what I was going to say there. And this is how I open my videos. Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot, how are we all? Today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Okay, so I want to look at Aries for the month of March. I'm using my Accurate Tarot and also my Light Seers. If I have to clarify the Prism Tarot. All right, let's have a... All that information will be in the link below the, the drop-down menu below the video. So let's have a look at Aries. What's happening for Aries? Aries in the month of... Oh, I'm getting an easel. Somebody's doing some painting. Um, okay, uh, the month of... Show me Aries. Okay, so, okay, the painting could be a metaphor because I'm also seeing the moon card as well. Something's coming to the surface. Something that's been permeating at the, at, you know, in of the emotions generally, the inner you. Something that's been there, you're wanting to bring it up uh, and and I think face it, get rid of it. You're sick of, you're sick, sick of hanging on to it. So, Aries, uh, and of course, the, it's, it could be like this comes to you um, through some kind of creative endeavor that you're doing. You suddenly get a, a breakthrough and you go, this is what I have to do. Okay, this is what I have to do. All right, so Aries, Aries, show me Aries in the month of March. Aries, month of March. Show me Aries, month of March. Some of you could also be running into some, uh, it's not expenses, it's something where you, you could be spending a little bit more in some way. So we've got the High Priestess, Illumination and Knowledge, yeah, that's exactly the vibe, literally the vibe I was getting clairvoyantly for some Aries. This is for your Sun sign, Rising sign, if you've got your Moon in Aries um, or major placements in Aries. Uh, this reading could be for you. It's general though. So if it's not, move on. If it is, stick with me and let's see what else, what other messages are coming. Because sometimes you're in the right place with tarot scopes at the right time to hear what you need to hear. So something is being illuminated. Something's coming to the surface and you're getting knowledge on it. And you're using your intuition. So hence the uh, easel, the art easel. It's, it's around something within you is coming up and giving you this this knowledge which is always a good thing because you know the more you can do that the more you can leave the past behind uh, and of course embrace the future so we have the spirit of the spirit of kings the spirit of kings uh rings sorry <laughs> spirit of, of ring which is the spirit of pentacles which of course is productivity and endurance productivity and endurance and this is what this is what the pentacle that i saw I, I saw you reaching for a pentacle i think this is the ace in this deck the ace of pentacles something new is 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 going to occur as a result of this breakthrough that you have it's like you re you're able to reach the top of the mountain. You get some kind of insight, and it is around it is around your own security. It's it is around um, not wanting to be insecure. I mean, Aries Aries rules the first house in the zodiac. Aries is about the self, about your identity, and you know, for those that have Aries in their uh, first house in you know or even right you know the rising if they've got the sun sign in that first house they're going to be um, i call that the quintessential arian um but it's like you have to work on yourself um wherever your aries is uh, your sun is uh in in, the, in your natal chart look to the house uh that it's in but if your uh, sun sign is Aries, you do, in this lifetime, you have to work. You have to work on yourself. And part of that is dispelling any insecurities. Now, we have the spirit of wands, enthusiastic and adventurous, the spirit of wands. So you've got spirit of pentacles and spirit of wands. Oh, I've got two here. We've also got the three of pentacles, collaboration and competence. Yeah, so there is this working within teams. 
there is this new start as well a new pathway opens up for you uh and um it, you're embracing that it's forward movement all around forward movement all around so there's a light bulb moment here which could come through your work or something that you're doing in March it's a collaboration with other people but it's like it's like you go you're going to go on this adventure and and I really do feel you're going to leave the past behind whatever whatever's baggage you've been dragging around with you from the past it's you're going to leave it there because you you're really walking freely in March I feel the base of the pack, we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, something's making you happy. Could even be family, um, abundance and fulfillment, love. Love of those around you is, is going to give you bring you great joy in March. So this is all about some kind of self-knowledge coming up for you and undertaking something, collaborating with others uh, and leaving the past behind. That's what I feel march is about for aries but there is this something that's coming up for you that you want to this old baggage you want to get rid of it's like jettison making the decision and going that's it no more i'm leaving that behind all right so aries month of march through the light sea tarot the light sea tarot show me what's coming up for aries in the month of March, Aries, month of March, Aries, show me month of March, nine of pentacles, you're reaching for that pentacle, meaning that's the image that I had of you, that uh, you are pulling that down, deciding that's what you want, it's about freedom and independence, and it's about deciding that whatever was weighing you down, is not going to anymore ace of pentacles it's all about your security now for some the ace of pentacles is in the challenge position it's challenging this freedom and it's there in that challenge position because you've actually got to you've actually got to leave the past behind that's what the universe is saying you've actually in order to get your freedom and independence and your new start you have to leave that old baggage behind. The high priestess, you know, for, for some Arians, they're going to be using, second time you pull this card, intuition. Intuition. The subconscious. Bringing things up. From the depths here. Something coming to the surface. Illumination, knowledge coming from the unconscious through to the conscious. That is going to be your gift in March. The wheel of fortune in the past position. Something's changed for you recently. You could have even been offered this new start. So don't bring old baggage with you. I think if I recall your last reading, that's exactly what you were offered. Okay, the five of swords is in the sky. Uh, this is more of fear. And this is, again, uh, with that Ace of Pentacles being in the challenge position. This is um, feeling like you don't want to be bullied by anybody. You don't want to be pushed around and, and that whispering in the ear. But remember when they did that. Remember what he said, she said. Leave that behind because that will truly free you. Um, yeah, King of Swords in the near future. Again, I think you're going to do it. I think you're going to be successful. Um, the King of Swords comes at it very, very maturely, very, uh, you know, knowledge, illumination, planning, truth, wisdom, wisdom. You're getting a breakthrough here as well in March. That's going to uh, really bring forward that clarity for you. Yeah, Seven of Cups, you could be, you know, in the here and now, you know, again, what do I choose? What do I choose? So I've got that energy of, of freedom and independence being uh, and, and security, financial security being on offer. But you might have to take a risk, a slight risk. Make the choice. Make the choice. 
Yeah, here we go, the moon card. You'll find your answer, or you may even know your answer, in your emotional responses and not shying away from them, understanding exactly why you experience a particular emotional response and making a choice to acknowledge that, to bring that up, to get that clarity around that and then leave it behind. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles uh, in the hopes and fears. No, you're not going to be slowed down. That's just a fear. No, you're not going to be let down. That's just a fear as well. Because the Knight is all about reliability. Slow progress, not slow, but he's not as quick. Well, she's not as quick as uh, as the Ace of Swords or the Ace of, Ace of um, Wands. Nevertheless, they make steady progress. Yeah, there's a bombshell or a surprise, an enlightenment coming to you. This could be a, an apology. It could be an offer of love. could be something surprise, surprising that jolts that heart, that heart chakra of yours. Use your intuition. If you get a surprise coming to you and you go, where did that come from? Use your intuition and because it's your strength, Aries, this month it's your strength. What This is a good surprise. You've manifested it. The magician and the high priestess work in unseen ways to bring forward to you what you need, what you need. And it's doing that. It's working that way for you in March. Four of Cups. Whatever's disappointed you in the past, you've got another cup here that brings you abundance and brings you happiness and brings you ultimately healing. So there's a victory on offer for you one way or another. Don't let all fears hold you back. Thank you, Aries, for tuning in.